we are come to offer. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you move uh, up, we move down. Now, uh, you know, uh, bargaining, uh, you know, is yeah. like, uh, as, as, as I would like to underscore to you, is the fact that the, the cash is on the table, one. Two, we are already giving you free advertisements, which is costly, effectively, yes. on a co commercial basis, but that is already a, a free thing for you. So, um, it's a 30% and that's it. 30%? Okay. Well, okay. I do believe it will be a great partnership, so I accept. Thank you. Thank you. We're so happy we got the 1 million ringgit from MyG. You know, we can't tell we can't wait to tell the team and we're going to have a big dinner tonight. So thank yay. you, thank you MyG. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much MyG for the offer. Thank you for believing in us. We're so happy. We can't wait to work for uh, together. Alas, even after a victorious verdict and attractive win of 1 million ringgit to turn his fantasy sports dream into reality, Melvin Wong has decided to retract from his monetary gains from my EG make the pitch. We wish Melvin all the very best in his pursuance of entrepreneurial success and will be supporting his cause all the way to the top. What we have um, discussed about investment from my EG, um, it seems like um, we feel that our investment is a bit undervalued. Um, especially for the uh, return of 30% um, equity uh, for my EG. Um, we know that um, 1 million is a lot of money and 30% for any other companies which are just has an idea uh, without much of a prototype or revenue, I think it's a very fair deal to have 1 million ringgit for 30%. However, our company has been making revenue and profit and we, in fact, has a very strong confidence of growing even further into not just Malaysian market but global market. Therefore, we find that um, it's uh, a bit hard to, for us to accept such um, investment. It's obvious that he was very much enticed by the prospects of a 1 million ringgit investment. He was not willing to give up 30% equity in his business. He did, throughout the show, try to convince us why we should value his business at a higher value. We did see that his business was generating income but it was not a recurring form of income. The income was mainly uh, based on projects that are ad hoc projects that are used to sustain the business operations. So we do feel that our offer of 1 million ringgit for 30% equity was a fair valuation in our opinion. We do commend Melvin for his achievements so far. It is um, not often that an entrepreneur would be willing to forego a million ringgit investment. So we do um, congratulate him on his supreme confidence and we hope that he can um, fulfill the full potential of his business. After anxiously awaiting the verdict from our judges, it has been decided that the battle of the budding entrepreneur has finally come to an end. Our insightful investors have decided based on the knowledge and the results, of course, achieved by our three winners that they've proven themselves champions in the enterprising arena of my EG Make the Pitch. Now, if you think that you have found the perfect money-making machine, or you think you have what it takes to step up to the entrepreneurial plate, well, get ready because my EG Make the Pitch Season 3 is now open for entries. All you need to do is send in your business ideas to myeg.com.my slash make the pitch and you'll soon find out if you have what it takes to enter the pitching arena in front of our judges. Until then, thank you so much for watching My EG Make the Pitch Season 2. I'm Aisha Sinclair and remember, it's nothing personal, it's just business. If you think that you have found the perfect money-making machine or you think you have what it takes to step up to the entrepreneurial plate, well get ready because my EG Make the Pitch Season 3 is now open for entries. All you need to do is send in your business ideas to myeg.com.my slash make the pitch and you'll soon find out if you have what it takes to enter the pitching arena and face our judges. 
we have not we have now completed season two of my G make the pitch. Once again, we are very happy to say that we have found some very exciting entrepreneurs, and we hope to work with them and join them in their journey to achieving great things. We believe that Malaysia has a lot of potential in developing the IT sector and we need companies that can compete internationally. So for all you budding entrepreneurs out there, if you think you have a great business idea or you have an existing business that needs capital to increase capacity, to scale up, do join us for Season 3 at www.myeg.com.my slash make the pitch. See you on the portal. Thank you. Make the Pitch was brought to you by MyEG in collaboration with Easy by RHB.